Hi there, it's Cam Bird of Remax. Um, I, I'm standing here in one of my own homes, actually. Uh, I have a few rental properties, and this is one of them. But uh, the purpose of this video is to kind of uh, share some uh, share a pretty di difficult situation that happened to uh, to myself here recently. Uh, came to this house here to show it on January the third and uh, I had about 10 inches of water in the basement. So it was kind of uh, uh, shattering uh, to have something like that happen. So I thought, well, I gotta get it fixed up. So I contacted my insurance agent and he in turn, uh, you know, gave me the number for uh, Wawanisa to uh, call for the emergency. So I just wanted to give you a little look at what's ended up happening, but I ended up with about 10 inches of water in the basement um, through this whole process though, I learned a very valuable expensive lesson that uh, I hadn't notified the tenant or the insurance agent that the tenant had actually moved out and I fully wasn't aware that I needed to do this. Uh, so that's why I'm sharing this, that if you own property and if it's vacant for more than a 30 day period of time, you must in notify your insurance agent, especially if you're with Walwanisa, because they've declined my claim um, for that reason. And so I just wanted to share with you that um, if you own rental properties, or even if you're away, you need to have somebody checking in on the property. But if it's vacant and has been for a period of time, be very, very careful. Make sure you keep informed with your insurance agent because I didn't. I didn't know I had to. And uh, it's going to end up being a $20,000 plus bill thereabouts. So um, that was sort of the purpose of this uh, video is to more to inform my clients, uh, prospective clients, that uh, this can happen. And uh, it has happened and it is happening to us. So we're having to incur this cost and inconvenience, obviously. We thought we were insured, and uh, you really don't know how good your insurance company truly is until you have a claim. And um, needless to say, I'm not that terribly thrilled. I haven't had a claim with this uh, particular insurance company, and uh, things are gonna change, obviously. I'll be looking for a different insurance provider. Uh, but again, it's just more or less to warn you uh, so that you don't end up in the same predicament that uh, I've ended up in here. So that's all I wanted to say, just to kind of, I can give you a quick little view of what's happened here. Not that it really matters much, but if your property is vacant, make sure it uh, doesn't even help. You know, you check on it every 48 hours, but if it goes vacant for over 30 days, they're gonna decline your insurance. So just make sure you don't have the same mistake that we had. Have a great day. Bye-bye.